Hey guys, it's Nicole here back on this Tuesday night. I hope you guys are all doing good out there and welcome back to Nicole's View. So this is going to be a part of my Black Excellence uh, video spotlight. It's important that we highlight these people because we, let's just keep it real. We constantly are bombarded with negative news, negative um, images, every single day okay a majority of my videos it's always about something negative it's just it just seems to be nothing positive going on in the world and that's not the case there are great things that are going on in the world and i feel like we have to spotlight it more you know because we tend to get in these funks you know what i'm saying um and i just don't want to be like that all the time because it just takes you into dark places you don't want to really be. And um, of course we have to talk about those stories, but I want to start to make it, you know, more even. I want to start showcasing more positive stuff on my channel. Um, I might not get the same views, but for my sanity and, and for all of us, we need to spotlight people in our community that is doing good. So I want to start out with Mr. Kadir Nelson here now. Uh, Mr. Nelson, he is an artist, an illustrator, and an author. And you've probably seen some of his paintings and stuff. Um, it's just pretty amazing to look at. He is, um, I guess, this generation, black Picasso, okay? <laughs> and he doesn't even have to be that, but I just like his stuff. Well, I love his stuff, actually. So um, he is a D.C. native, born on May 15th, 1974. Um, and he's gone on to do a lot of things. He's gotten a lot of awards. Um, and, of course, his art is focused on African-American culture and history. Um, yeah, and I, what I've done here, I've attached a show from Bounce TV that did a spotlight on him, and I thought it was great. It was uplifting, it was positive, and I'm like, okay, I wanna share this on my YouTube channel because we need this, <laughs> okay? And I wanna start doing these videos more because I truly get tired of logging into YouTube and all I see is just, oh my God, it's just the same old, same old. And that's not to down anyone that does videos because you know we're all talking about pretty much the same issues that are affecting you know, us on a daily basis. So I'm not saying I'll never do those videos again, no. Uh, we have to do them, but I just want to spotlight more positive stuff too, because it just, it gets at you, okay? It truly does. But um, yeah, check out this video of Mr. Kadir Nelson. Let me know what you think. Black excellence is true and it's out there. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. His work hangs in the homes of celebrities and can even be found on postage stamps. When you see his work, you'll understand why he's become one of America's most important artists and why I chose to spend a few minutes with Kadir Nelson. His work can be found on magazine covers, children's books, postage stamps, and in the homes of art lovers across the world, including mine. Kadir Nelson is one of this generation's most important fine artists. I met the DC-born award-winning artist at his gallery in Los Angeles, where some of his stunning paintings adorn the walls. We started by talking about his start. Kadir, were you a uh, doodler or a drawer as a kid? I've been drawing since I was about three years old, so I, I drew all the time, every day. When you were in school in English or math, were you thinking about drawing even then? I was actually drawing in <laughs> class, <laughs> you know. I got in trouble, you know, a couple of times, but, you know, as long as I did my homework, you know, my teacher was fine with it. Um, since I was a little kid, you know, I was drawing cartoon characters or comic book characters and you know it's just something everybody knew in my family that Kadir really likes to draw whenever we played Pictionary I was you know I was the first chosen you know so it was you know that's just how we did it. Over the years Nelson would be mentored by a number of artists including the world-renowned Ernie Barnes whose work would influence Nelson. 
Nelson's uncle and artist himself would be Kadir's first guiding force and gave him some advice he carries to this day. He imparted upon me that it was important that what I'm putting down on paper or canvas mean something to me. Uh, and from that point, I always made sure that what I was drawing had some type of significance to myself or a larger picture or a larger story. And since then, I've taken it upon myself to become somewhat of a historian or someone who creates documentaries with the work that I do. When you paint a picture, I'm, I'm, I'm always intrigued for instance, you have a, a, a couple on the way to church or coming from church. It's mm -hmm. called Sunday, mm -hmm. which I love. Do you envision these characters as you paint them? Do you have a backstory for them? Are they, are they living, breathing, or, or are they a snapshot in time? For me, I, I try to step into the shoes of my subject. And I think about my history, uh, about what influenced me as a kid, as a human being, as an artist uh, coming up. So when I approach a subject like baseball players in the Negro Leagues or uh, a couple walking the church, these are people that I saw as a kid. You know what I love about your work? You have a lot of strong black males mm -hmm. in your work. Mm -hmm. You have given us a place on the wall. Was that intentional? Absolutely. I, I would say that I want to create images of people who are strong. When I'm thinking about my subject matter, I'm thinking, you know, this is what I want to be. I aspire to be strong. I, I aspire to be proud. In many ways, like artists, a lot of artists, we, we are creating self-portraits, even though the subject doesn't always look like us. It is an extension of who we are. I asked Nelson, who often humbly downplays his talent, about painting famous people and the importance of capturing their likeness. From politician Shirley Chisholm to rapper Drake to President Obama, Nelson's painted them all. It's important to, to nail the likeness. Um, otherwise, you're going to hear about it. That, that person that doesn't look like, you know, Muhammad Ali. Or I, I, when I look at it, if I don't feel that it looks like who it's supposed to be looking like, then that's, that's a problem. We, we, as an artist, you're trying to create a successful picture, a successful image. And if it doesn't communicate what I'm trying to communicate, whether it's through a likeness or the subject matter or the story, then I have, I'm not successful. What's it like for you? when you see your work on the cover of New Yorker magazine, or even more impressive, when you see your work on a postage stamp. It's exciting, um, it's gratifying, uh, because I get to see the work that I do go out to you know, millions of people who um, may not have otherwise seen the work. You know, because you, you honestly, you, you never know who's gonna see it. You never know, I mean, it could be a child who's on the other side of the world who saw this image that you created and you know it inspires them to become an artist or inspires them to make some type of a change in their life you just never know so it's important it's important to do that what do you want in the end when they write your story what do you want the art to say hmm that's a good question i would i would think that uh, i want the art to say that the beauty of the human spirit and that it is clear and apparent in every piece of artwork that you see, that it rings something, it's like a gong inside of your soul that chimes every time you look at the artwork and reminds you of the beauty of, your, of yourself. And if viewers feel that and they see that when they see, look at my work, then I've done my job. <laughs>